The European Robotic Arm era is a robotic arm to be attached to the Russian segment of the International Space Station. It will be the first robot arm able to work on the Russian space station segments, and will supplement the two Russian Strela cargo cranes that are already installed on the PIR's module. The ERA is designed and assembled by Airbus Defence and Space Netherlands formerly Dutch Space. Topic. Major features and tasks The ERA has several interesting features. Most prominent are its ability to walk around the exterior of the Russian segments of the station under its own control, moving hand over hand between pre-fixed base points, and its ability to perform many tasks automatically or semi-automatically, thereby freeing its operators to do other work. Specific tasks of ERA include Installation and deployment of solar arrays Replacement of solar arrays Inspection of the station Handling of external payloads Support of astronauts during space walks The International Space Station already features three robotic arms, the first being the Canadarm 2, but because the Russian grapple fixtures are different, that arm and Dexter can only be used on the Zarya module of the Russian segment. The third arm is fixed on the Japanese experiment module. The remote manipulator system GEM -RMS, uses a similar grapple fixture to Canadarm 2. Because all Russian and European spacecraft dock automatically there is no need to manipulate spacecraft on the Russian segment so the European arm is half the length and less powerful than Canadarm 2. Developed for the European Space Agency ESA by a number of European space companies, with Dutch Space as prime contractor and subcontractors in eight countries, the robot arm will be launched by a Proton rocket, along with the MLM, in 2018, previously planned, 2015, to be put to work in space by the ISS crew. In 2010, a spare elbow joint for the arm was launched preemptively, attached to the Mini Research Module 1 MRM-1. The MLM will also serve as home base for ERA. Originally, the arm was going to be attached to the cancelled Science Power platform which would have had eight solar arrays. Topic. Control of ERA Astronauts can control the robot from both inside and outside the space station. Control from inside the space station intravehicular activity man machine interface EVA MMI uses a laptop which shows a model of the era and its surroundings Control from outside the space station extravehicular activity man machine interface EVA MMI uses a specially designed interface that can be used while in a spacesuit Topic <laughs> arm components Two limbs, symmetrical arm sections made of carbon fiber, approximately 5 meters long. Two identical gripper mechanisms and effectors e, also capable of transferring data, power or mechanical actuation to payloads. Two wrists with three joints each. One elbow joint. One central control computer within the arm ECC. Four camera and lighting units CLU. Topic. Project status 2005 Final qualification and delivery to the customer May 2010 STS-132 Preemptive launch of a spare elbow joint with two limbs for ERA to the International Space Station Late 2019 Launch of ERA with the Russian Multipurpose Laboratory Module on a Proton-M rocket Topic. Technical data Total length 11.3 meters 37 feet Launch mass 630 kilograms 1390 pounds Maximum payload mass 8000 kilograms 18000 pounds Maximum tip speed 0.1 meters per second 0.33 feet per second Tip positioning accuracy 5 millimeters 0 20 in Topic. See also Canadarm, which was used on the Space Shuttle Mobile Servicing System MSS, also known by its primary component the Canadarm-2, used on the ISS The Remote Manipulator System, used on the ISS module Kibo Dexter, also known as the Special Purpose Dexterous Manipulator SPDM, used on the ISS 
Strela, a crane used on the ISS to perform similar tasks as the mobile servicing system. Topic. References. Topic. External links. European Robotic Arm – ESA's description and specifications of the arm from July 2004 ERA – description, with photos, from Dutch space